Hey everyone, it's Hal, Quail Studios Guitar. I've got a video today for you about a guitar that one of my students showed me yesterday. They said, we got this for our son and it was at a secondhand store. And I'm always thinking, um, that may not be the best idea. <laughs> I looked at it though. Here, let me show it to you really quick. So here's the guitar. It says Daisy Rock on it. It's kind of sparkly. And uh, this is after I fixed it, but let me show you what it looks like before I fixed it. This is the guitar after I started to take some of the strings off of it. And then I decided, well, let me video this guitar or take a picture of it just so I can show my students' parents exactly what they're getting. And one thing I noticed is that the guitar does have a truss rod. It's right in here. And I could probably adjust it. It had a little bit of a curve in the neck. The nut was, has never been adjusted. It was just, uh, you know, thrown on there. It's an inexpensive guitar. The strings were really old and it played horribly out of tune. That's what the nut looks like. Let's freeze that really quick. And you can see what it looks like here with those four strings on it. There is the bridge. And you'll notice that these bridge pins are actually way into the, I mean, they're just pushed in all the way into that bridge. And that doesn't need to be that way. And I'll show you exactly what it looks like after. You'll also notice that the bridge, it looks like it's dried out. There's the old strings. Boy, they are really old and just gross looking. Here's the guitar with the strings off of it. And it's just kind of, you know, it needs a, a good clean up. This is the fretboard. It looks kind of dry too. And right here, those two tuners, the E string and the B string tuner, they look rusted on the inside. I don't know how it got that way. Here's the guitar after I fixed it. So right there, there's your bridge. You'll notice that it looks a lot better because I oiled the bridge. Let's freeze the frame right there. You can see that they're not completely in because if you cram the bridge pins in all the way, they're hard to get out and they don't need to be in that far. They just need to be in far enough to where when the string starts to come out, it wedges that string and the bridge pin into the hole and you're fine. All right, let's move down the guitar here. You can see that it's a lot cleaner. Also, the fretboard has been oiled and it looks so much better. I know I'm going a little bit fast, aren't I? This is from my iPhone camera. And there, that you can see the slots now. There's the headstock. It looks a lot better. You can see that the slots for the strings are a lot deeper, and so it's a lot closer to the neck. They are not buzzing, but it plays a lot better. These strings that I put on it are nines, D'Addario electric guitar strings because I didn't have anything that was like really light in an acoustic guitar string. It'll be fine with electric guitar strings. I did this when I was a kid and it works great. All right, here's the still of the nut from the low E string side. You'll notice that those slots are a lot deeper. They're perfect, actually. They're very, very close. The strings will not buzz. And here's a close up. So you can see, especially the E string and the A string, now here's the video. I'm looking down the neck. This is the way I sight the neck. Boy, it looks so straight now. Really nice. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. I'll tell you, I was, I was a little apprehensive about it because I didn't know how good it would sound. It sounds a lot better. The nut is actually, it's not a false nut. It's actually a real nut. And I was wondering if the spacing was correct here, but it does play. It plays a lot better in tune. It's just really a lot better. Before, when I played an open string and then fretted a note on the third fret, it was way out of tune. And the reason it did that was because the nut was too high and the neck uh, wasn't straight enough. It had too much of a curve in it. This is better. It's not perfect, but it'll work. All right. If you're having any trouble with your guitars like this, you need to get them fixed. If you're in my area, I can do it for you. 
but I can guide you also. Look in the description for affiliate links for guitars and things like that. You can see my guitar, the one I really like to play. And to support the channel, you can click on those affiliate links, buy things at Amazon. That would be very much appreciated. Or you can join at Subscribestar or Patreon. Or there's a link to PayPal. And you can get my book and tabs and music that I share with all my students. Okay, we'll talk to you later. See ya.